everyone, this is your Tampa Bay Realtor Lance Moore and I want to go over a great new home kit for you if you're in the process of having a new home built and they haven't put in the sod already. Because over the years I've seen this happen a lot and I'm sure you have a lot of other things in your mind to find a new home and the chances of catching this and knowing about this is extremely slim. So when your sod is going in, you want to make sure that the ground that they're putting it on is leveled. In other words, a lot of times when the sod company comes in for the builder, the builder's not around, they're not looking or monitoring, they just see after the after effect after the sod's put in. And of course, the sod is a little bit bumpy because you know they're putting it in by chunks. But what happens is a lot of times these sod companies, they'll put a lot of sod in at one time and they'll bring a forklift um, in and they'll dump the sod in one place and then all of a sudden maybe the soil's a little wet, it's a little muddy, and they start tromping all over it with their shoes and everything. And then they just put the sod in. So what tends to happen is when the sod ends up taking in several months or a year, you'll end up noticing that it's sort of wavy, your lawn, or you'll step in an area and you'll step down. It's because when they put the sod in, they're supposed to, as they're putting it in, they usually put it in by the front of the home, um, wherever the home is, in the backyard, the side, the front, and they start where the home is and they work their way outward or backwards. And they make sure it's level and everything's smooth. So what you need to do, just talk to your builder, your superintendent, and let them know. Say, hey, can you keep an eye when you put the sod in? Can you keep an eye on the people? Because we want to make sure that it's leveled out. Because the last thing you want to do, and I, I had this happen in my personal home. I bought the home, it was two years old, and the buyer didn't know this, and I have areas of my backyard that's literally, it's I, I'll step down, and I'll literally step down like six or eight inches. And I, I filled it in over the years, but it's a real pain to do this. So it's the little teeny things like this that could drive you up a wall. Um, and it would drive me up a wall, it still does. So just make sure you talk to the superintendent or you talk to your builder and just make sure the sod in sod is put in correctly. I hope this helps you. If you like this video, do me a favor and share it with anybody you know looking at buying a new home, no matter where you live, whether if you're in the Tampa Bay area or you're out of the area, out of the state. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you have any questions, please leave the comments below. Have a wonderful day.